The, uh, I've seen this, uh, there's that Caesar's Messiah, which is a bunch of BS. The guy that wrote it didn't know jack about pretty much anything. Um, but I kept seeing comments mention stuff like, well, it's too bad Rome got control of it and turned, turned Christianity into the Catholic Church, or turned, turned church into Catholic. Turned Catholic. It's not a. It's not Roman. It, the first person to coin the term Catholic in use of the Church was Ign Ignatius of Antioch in about the year one hundred. Meaning, the, all the apostles agreed on the gospel. They preached the same gospel. And that didn't matter if you were man or woman, free or slave, Jew or Gentile, Greek or barbarian, rich, poor, educated, uneducated, Catholic, universal. Anyone could be saved. Anyone who accepted Christ could be saved. Didn't need secret teaching. And, uh, you know, John or Thomas or James didn't have a secret message that Christ didn't tell his other disciples. But there wasn't, you know, some secret hidden teaching, right? That's what Catholic, it's just what Catholic means. So we say we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, even though we're not Roman Catholic. Even the... Lutherans and Anglicans use the term Catholic. I believe some Baptists do as well. Um, people forget that uh, Rome was pretty much a backwater. Rome didn't gain power uh, until after the Dark Ages. Uh, <clears throat> somebody in the comments tried to say, oh, the Jewish population after AD 70, they scattered um, all over uh, the Roman Empire. Um, and they mainly went to, to Rome. Uh, really? The city that, you know, when Trajan, you know, destroyed the, uh, the temple and took the, uh, the lampstand? They wanted to go there? No. They went to Babylon. Um, the, uh, and not all Jews were expelled. It was until um, 153 or 135 at the end of the Bar Kokhba revolt that the Jews were expelled from Judea, Samaria, Decapolis, and it was renamed. Palestine. Um, if you believe in the Trinity and the hypostatic union and you uh, accept the 27 books that are in the Western New Testament, then you are Catholic. If you're not Catholic, well, then you might be Gnostic or Marcionite, uh, but it's easy to tell. Do you believe that? Do you believe in virgin birth? Do you believe Christ came in the flesh, or that he was just an appearance? Do you believe his uh, crucifixion, burial, and resurrection meant anything? And the last part, if you believe that, then yeah. You, you are a Catholic of some form. Because the Gnostics and the Marci Marcionites, those, those were the Docetists, the Docetae. Um, well, the, ch the church became Catholic. Uh, no, the church was always Catholic. It always was. It was always 
Christ's message was for everyone. It was for the Jew and the Gentile. So was Paul's message. So was Peter's. So, you know, so was even James and Thomas and Simon the Zealot and Mark and Luke and any of the evangelists, any of the writers. Seventy disciples. They were all Catholic. The reason why they had to have the term Catholic, universal, is to make sure people understood, look, it's, it's for everybody and anybody, and it's the same gospel. There's no secret. It's The gospel is the gospel, and it's to be preached everywhere to everybody. The Gnostics, it was for celibate men, who despise the physical world, who believe that an evil god or a stupid god, basically an archon, um, an ignorant angel that thought he was a god or was evil and tried to trick the lower creatures and think he was god, who actually created the physical world. So things like sex and childbirth and um, finding any beauty in the physical world was evil. So if you think, you know, sex is evil, and childbirth is evil, and the physical world is ugly and terrible, and the greatest act would be to starve yourself to death, then you might be a Gnostic, or you probably are a Gnostic. Or you might be crazy, although two aren't really that <laughs> they're not really mutually exclusive because of, oh well the Catholic uh, the Western Latin Church didn't start calling itself Roman Catholic until the split until 1054 and then there was a differentiation Roman Catholic and Eastern Orthodox but the Western Latin Church affirms that it's the Orthodox Church and the Eastern Communion uh, claims, we claim that we are the one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church as well as being Orthodox. Orthodox means correct path or correct worship and Catholic means universal. Again, it, Paul lays it out I mean, Catholicism is in Romans. Paul lays it out, you know, neither man nor woman, free, anybody. You know, it's for everyone, anybody. And then he goes into, he says, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're baptized by Apollos or by Cephas or, you know, I'm glad I only baptized one of you. There's one baptism, one faith, one Lord. That's what it is. That's what to be Catholic is. But these crazy idiots who have no concept of history or scripture, um, who are fundamentalists, hear Catholic and they think Roman Catholic and they say, well, as soon as somebody uses the word Catholic, it doesn't matter if they were a student of John, of the Apostle John, like Ignatius of Antioch was, who actually was a martyr who died for Christ because he wouldn't worship other gods, um, well then he's not a real Christian. Well, if you're not, if you're not a, a cat, not a Roman Catholic, but if you're not Catholic in your Christianity, then who can't join? Women can't be Christian then? Women can't gain salvation? What about the poor? They can't gain salvation. What about children? What about people who have sex? What about uh, married couples? What about those who have childbirth? What about, uh, you know, who do you exclude? And, or what secret teaching do you have that's not in Scripture? Because the 27 book New Testament that we have, that's Catholic, 100%. Let me make sure none of the Gnostic crap got in there, none of the heretical garbage got in there.
It's all Catholic teaching, especially Romans and Corinthians. All right, so here's a correction on the term Catholic. I'm not Roman Catholic. I, you know, I don't accept the Pope as... I don't even recognize him as the Bishop of Rome. I, don't, I think that he's... that he's gone into uh, heresy. Uh, but as for being Catholic, absolutely. I'm not a Roman Catholic, I'm Eastern Orthodox.